Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair Let's Pose, where I show you how to pose your figures like I do in the pictures at the end of my reviews. Today I am going to be posing the Mafex Hush Batman. As always, let me know in the comments below what figures you'd like to see me pose next, and stick around at the end of the video so that way you can check out this week's review. But that's enough cheer chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. let's go ahead and get to posing so we're gonna start off here just getting batman into like a, a battle ready pose you know you, like you see on the covers where he's kind of hunched over arms back ready to to leap into battle uh let's get the knees kind of bent up here the arms back so we can get him far enough apart as well so he balances on his own because that's the one thing about the moffex batman is for whatever reason the ankles like do not want to support the figure very well if you're in certain poses uh, get the cape kind of a little wild here, make it look a little more dynamic. Because you're going to have a posed cape, you might as well at least put some effort into it, right? Let's see, is that going to work? Maybe? Come on, you can stand on your own, i got faith in you. There we go. So here we have it, here he is in just kind of like a, a ready for battle. You've got the left leg just slightly bent, the right leg is bent more 90 degrees, with the ankle kind of bent forward. He is hunched over pretty far, about as far as you can get him, to be honest. You've got the shoulders pulled back, both arms are kind of back almost like make a W or an M, I guess, on his, uh, going through his shoulders. And again, the cape you just kind of fiddle with to get where you like it. But it's a pretty nice, uh, simple pose that you can hit on your shelf or in your photos. Still looks dynamic, but it's nothing like super crazy. Um, from there, I think we are going to go into a running pose, which I might have to get a stand for, because I don't know if he can support his own weight on these ankles. But we're going to try it and see where it goes. Uh, so let's see, we're going to get the left leg forward, get that right arm, and it gets torso twisted, the cape kind of again, some dynamic poses. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you, Batsy. Please? Maybe? Maybe just a little bit? It's not looking good. Mm. Come on. Nope, never mind. Screw it. Alright, let's get one of the handy dandy Mofex stands out here. There we go. Alright. So, now that we've got that on there, we, you can clearly see he is in a pretty good running pose. I mean, you've got the right arm, you know, you got the shoulders twisted, so it's forward, you got the left arm back, kind of, let me see if I move this, at about just a little bit of an angle there, left leg straight down, if I move the cape here so you can see, but the right leg is bent in all the way in behind him, you can see he's also twisted up and a little bit bent over, there's another view there as well. Uh, from there, though, we are going to hit a kind of the, the cape being him pulling his cape in front of him, trying to uh, hide in the shadows pose. I don't know how to really describe that in any other words. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, so you're going to get the left arm kind of forward in front of him. We're obviously going to have to switch out the hands for that specific hand, which is strange that Moffex actually planned ahead for that. Get the head forward. Pop this bad boy off, get it on here, like so. Man, these are a little bit tighter than I remember. There we go. So the trick to this is going to be that you want to tuck it down into that little pit that his uh, elbow makes. And then you're going to wrap it down into under the thumb and then over the fingers. And there we go. And then you're going to mess up the cape a little bit, get it where you want it. If you want it more draped over, or if you want it more kind of flowing, kind of all depend on you. But once you get him to stand, which again, always a problem with some of these poses with this Batman figure. Come on. There we go. And boom, now you've got that great pose of him, you know, holding the cape in front of him. 
Let me turn to the side here so you can see. Like, it's, it's really nothing special. You can have the legs however you want. I just have them kind of bent at the one side, and so he's, like, leaning. And then the arm I just have kind of casually behind him uh, with the fist curled, ready to fight. And then you do have that full bend on the left arm. And like I said, you do have to have it kind of tucked into the elbow. And you can always mess around a little bit with the cape, make it more dynamic if you want to get more uh, more out of those posing wires, just kind of up to your personal preference. Get that out of here. All right, so let's move on here. Um, Let's do some battering throwing. That's always fun. That's a very Batman thing to do. So let's get the cape out of the way here as much as possible. Get the right arm back like he's ready to throw. We'll get that uh, other hand on there. I did preload it with some batarangs. I prefer the ones that came with the Dark Knight Returns over the ones that came with him. That's just my personal preference, but you can use whatever you want. They just fit between the fingers on that hand. Uh, get that arm back. Get the other arm kind of forward like he's sizing you up to throw him. Get the cape so it's a little less out of the way. We'll get the legs, that way he can stand. There we go. And we're going to switch out this hand with an open hand, just to really make it look like he's, you know, aiming and sizing up his target. Boom. And move the cape out of the way a little bit, because it's a little too punched up there for me. And those stupid ankles, always making me mad. But yeah, like that, now you've got him ready to throw some batarangs. So, if I can get him to stand again, there we go. You've got both arms straight on each side. The left arm is pulled back a little bit. Got the batarangs kind of set up with his hand facing forward. Got the one knee bent at about 90 degrees with that ankle bent. The other knee isn't quite nearly as bent, but it has to have the ankle pivoted to have it flat. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on though, this one... This one was something that someone asked for. For clarification, it is a pose that I believe he said it was Jay Hernandez put Spider-Man in, and he wanted to see Batman in it. And I told him I'd try it. I don't think it's going to work because Spider-Man, both in you know context, continuity, and in the figure, is way more flexible than Batman. Um, so he is not going to be able to hit this pose quite as elegantly, but I'm going to try it. So we're going to get the one leg twisted forward. Both knees are going to be bent at about 90 degrees. We're going to twist his shoulders so that way the left arm is more in front of him. We're going to get this other arm behind him. I'm going to use a grappling hook um, with this supposable wire I have for it because I don't like the metal ones that it came with. Uh, Spider-Man used his webs. Obviously, Batman does not have webs. Um, I don't really, really know how because it's not quite as long as the webs that were being used in the... Example he showed me. Yeah, let's have it kind of chill there. Um, maybe get this twist a little bit more. Uh, it's not great. You can't really get his head up as much, and because of his cows in the way. But you oh, got the you know open hand down. You got the knee on the ground. You've got the other knee bent and basically sideways, so the thigh is like facing his shoulders. We've got the toe articulation being used in the back to help balance them a little bit. Try to spread this out a little bit more. Try to make it a little bit better. Get him more forward here. Get the cape out of the way. Maybe mess with this grappling hook a little bit more. Make it look nicer. He does not want to stand. <laughs> oh, man. This is a mess. Uh, come on. Please. There you go. get the arm a little bit further. It looks a little bit better. Then you get that other arm. Get the knees split up a little bit. Come on. Yeah, you just can't get him to look forward like you can with Spider-Man. Uh, get that other arm back a little bit more. Yeah, so, I mean, hopefully this is, you know, what you were looking for. Uh, it's as close as I think you can get Batman to it. Because, like I said, he just does not articulate the same way Spider-Man does, both in the comics and in figure form. So I'm a, I do apologize, but I think that's the closest you can get to it. Uh, we are going to move on to the last pose, though, which is going to be him flying through the air, shooting off his grappling hook. 
So we're going to get the one leg extended, other one bent. We're going to get the cape kind of flowing behind him. We're going to get him kind of arched, get the pose wire straightened out a little bit so it stays up a little more. Get that arm fold back, break out the stand again. There we go. Just like that. Come on. All right, so we've got the right leg extended straight down. We've got the hips, oh, and the and, and man down. <laughs> this, is, this is just not my night. Come on, Batman, cooperate with me. We've got the other knee bent all the way in. It's out a little bit, but it's mostly behind him. Again, cape kind of posed to be a little more dynamic. I'm going to get him to get the you know pivot at the chest and abdomen to get him kind of arched back. The other arms pulled all the way back, and then whoop, there we go. It's a little better view here. And then of course you got the right arm extended with that grappling hook shooting out uh, with the wire. Again, that pose wire. It's just something I think got from a craft store. It's nothing special, but I just liked it better than the metal one. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this week's Let's Pose. As always, let me know in the comments below what figures you'd like to see me pose next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out here in the channel. And of course, get you more toy related videos in your feed. We've got the reviews on Mondays, Let's Poses on Tuesdays, the live stream on Wednesdays, and the weekly podcast on Fridays. Check us out Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair to see a lot of the photos I take of these figures. Also, click the link on the screen if you want to check out my SH figure at Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta review I did this week. I had a lot of fun with the pictures. He's a great figure. And if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, it's definitely worth checking out. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope we see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.